All right, we're out here today playing with the six millimeter arc Resolute from CMMG. Let's have a little fun. I'm gonna start out with a couple of shots and we'll talk about this rig a little bit more as we go. Really fun stuff. We got a 10 inch plate at 300 yards right out the gate. Got dual hog saddles here. We'll talk a little bit more as we go. Headshot on the D28. Ooh, just over the top. Wow. <laughs> what a sweet shooting rig. Wow. Hope everybody's having a great day. Welcome back. Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Okay, we're gonna be breaking into this rifle here. And you're probably wondering why we're set up and shooting like this. Well, recently, um, Oscar and I from GRS went on an awesome hog hunt and we filmed an epic 622 yard long nighttime hog kill using a 6.5 PRC. And I thought that we would try to replicate his shooting stance a little bit and have a try and see how well we can connect at targets at longer range using a similar type of a setup here. So we've got a couple of tripods here with hog saddles on them and we got everything rigged up with a rear bag. So this rig is nice and steady. Um, this is a really sweet rifle from CMMG. We'll start by talking about the rifle and the optic a little bit. We're running the Arkin Optics SH4 Gen 2. This is a six to 24 by 50. This particular optic um, uses mill adjustments. You've got zero stop turrets. You've got a um, adjustable parallax. You do have an illuminated reticle on this unit. It's a 34 millimeter tube sitting in an Arkin base. And this one's set up really nice. This gun does have a level on it, uh, a little bubble here to level it out. Now with CMMG's rifle, what they've done with the Resolute is they've changed some things around and kind of brought it up to a little bit more current spec with a newly designed rail system with some new cuts and some slim spots here, like on top where you've got an M-lock uh, slot accessory across the top instead of a rail to kind of cut back on the weight a little bit. Also some lightning cuts they put in here. Same thing with the upper itself. They did redesign the upper considerably. Uh, the upper's got some really cool sleek lightning cuts and everything like that. Um, kind of helps bring it up into one of the, you know, their specs. Also, they have um, this shell deflector here that is held on by a couple of bolts. And the idea is that in the future, you should be able to change this out for different options like shell deflectors of various types, shell catchers, things like that. All the accessories on the uh, guns that CMMG are making now are all their in-house designs. Their grip, their safety, uh, which is a 45 degree tilt safety, which I like a lot. Um, their double-sided latch, you do have an ambidextrous uh, magazine release on this gun, which is nice. This particular rifle ships from CMMG with their ripstock installed. Uh, we pulled that particular stock off of this and just dropped a FDE uh, Magpul Mo rifle stock on here because we knew we were gonna be shooting at a little bit longer ranges. And for the purposes of this particular gun, we wanted to have a little bit more of a traditional rifle length stock on it. It does have a rifle length gas system with a 16 inch barrel. Um, this particular gun is wearing a KGM um, R65 suppressor, which is sounding really fantastic on this rig. Um, I thought initially that this Arkin might be a little bit heavy medicine for this particular gun in terms of the optic because it is rather large, but it, it actually fits really nice and well at home here. Um, the lightning cuts on the gun, um, this very light suppressor that we're running, uh, it certainly does kind of counterbalance a little bit of the extra heft on the optic. Um, this is just such a sweet setup. We're gonna do a little bit more shooting. I mean, we could see there in the intro that I was making very short work of a 10 inch plate at 300 yards. We're gonna shoot out to three a little more. I've got a few more targets. Let's just have some fun. I mean, we could shoot further distances if we want to, which we, we might. Let's see. I'm gonna try the gopher.
<laughs> Woo! Yeah, I didn't want to feed out of that particular mag, Chad. Yeah, not liking that, uh, that conversion mag. All right, I'm gonna try another mag. So that first 10 round mag was the one that we, uh, that came with the gun. Uh, that second mag was a conversion mag of Chad's with a uh, six uh, millimeter arc or six five type, you know, follower, the blue follower. This is a factory ASC, 25 shot uh, magazine. This is supposed to work just fine with the six arc. Let's give it a try. Well, that um, suppressor, Chad, is sounding nice. It's not, uh, you know, pitchy or weird or anything like that. I noticed that that magazine well is a little bit tight. Uh, it's, it's, you know, and that um, the magazine release feels a little tight as well. But that mag locked in there real nice, and that is with the bolt to the rear. Um, let's give this magazine a try. Now, um, that's 25 shots of six arc. That's pretty cool. I like that. Let's uh, give it a try. And, uh, you know, making decent work on that gopher. Let's try the 10 inch plate a little more and see. I mean, I, I think you guys can see that this uh, rig is definitely a bullet delivery device. As long as I can do my part, I don't think the gun is going to um, give me an issue here. <laughs> yeah, not liking that particular mag. We're getting a lot of gas back in the action. Cool. Shooting good. No go. No good. Nice and accurate. All right, those ACS mags were not quite working the way we'd like to see them working, uh, but we're gonna try this particular mag out. This is the factory 10 that came with the gun. I'm very happy with the accuracy of this rifle, and um, I'm sure that with the magazines, you know, because it is kind of a unique conversion magazine, we're probably just gonna have to play around with the mags and find something that it likes. Um, but so far, I'm very impressed with the setup, and uh, I like this optic. I really do like the Arkans. They've been holding up great. Um, they're really tough too. We've done a lot of torture testing on these optics and we've been trying to run them on different platforms, you know, just to kind of see what they're all about, see how well they hold up on a variety of different applications. And we've been very happy with those so far. And of course, anything that CMMG makes, they build with a purpose and they generally do a pretty solid job of everything they're trying to accomplish. So uh, I'm pretty freaking happy with this setup and we'll report more uh, in the coming months we're going to do more testing with some different magazines also testing out a little bit wider variety of, of ammunition uh, we only have the hornady match which is kind of a long projectile as well so i noticed too that when we were loading those mags that you know you've got the maximum overall length that's afforded to you when you run these hornadies uh, in this particular projectile design so i'm wondering if that might have something to do with it but until i test more ammunition and test more magazines we're not really going to know but we will find out and we will report those details later down the road when we do a little bit more testing but i wanted to make this video about the resolute because it's a real new unique rifle and it's new for cmmg it hasn't been out very long um, six arc is making a big splash and i wanted to share it with you guys so i'm going to go ahead and shoot a few more rounds let you guys get back to your day but um all right, a couple more rounds here. And I'll let you guys get back to it. All right, we're just drilling that plate. We're gonna shoot that same plate a little more. Why not?
Sounds real good at the ear too. Not very loud, uh, reasonably low tone out of this particular gun. I mean, that'd be a great suppressor for hunting purposes, getting out and doing some hog hunting, coyote hunting. Um, definitely a lot of uses, really fun uses for this particular rifle. Thanks guys so much for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, this has been the Resolute here from CMMG. Got our Arkin on there, doing a great job. Um, really loving the KGM suppressor on this gun. Um, more testing to come. Thank you guys so much. Many more videos on the way. We'll see you soon.